I know AJ also first how we did it how we did mount the uh, Farrington Gasbo so we're gonna show you the steps and you know our ways to do it easily Hola. 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 So for tools, use this. So this really is gonna uh, help you guys. So this one is a, uh, you know, it's a six feet high on the left, and on the one on the right, you know, uh, it's a two, three feet high. So this will make the job. I pre-assemble the four post did the same thing for the beams and put all the ports on the ground for easy install yeah so how did we did it first easy so we put the columns and the beams uh, we set them apart and then after this we're only gonna assemble you know the columns and the beams for each size then after this we're gonna lift it up so as you're seeing, right? This is the uh, the column here, the column now, and the bracing and the beam. So what we did, easy. So we put the columns, the column now, direct on that deck, right? So we, and then after this, with the beams and we put the anchors, as in, or the bracing, should I say? Here, the bracing. So now what we did. The columns, two columns of the beam, the brace, and we put the laterals at the same time too. All right. All right, for the first structure that's on the floor, on the deck, make sure, you know, it's well protected and put something below it. So for the laterals that are 10 feet long, just go one at a time, install it, and then after this, put the brace that's go with it and do the other one, all right? Step four, second structure. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did in step one, but for the other structure. So that means we have all our posts and beams all assembled. Now we only need to put them at the vertical. Step five, we were three, my wife, my mother-in-law and I. So what we did, we first raised the second structure. So that's the two poles and the beam. We put the bolts. I'm going to show you in a few seconds. My mother-in-law owned that second structure. Me and my wife, we went and raised the first structure. So the two poles, the beam and the laterals. We anchor it with the bolts again and at this moment we only had to put the bracing and that was it as for the bolts to anchor the uh, gazebo in a solid way i use the pauline a uh, quarter inch all right and two and a half inch long from home depot and they were excellent And I use the appropriate washer as well. Step six, the roof. So our success is we have assembled the roof, but on the ground. So my wife and I did lift the roof. We put it on, on its place. But the thing is, my mother-in-law had a broomstick to help us adjusting, all right, um, the roof. So take a look. So after putting the uh, four diagonals in the corners, we went up to put the uh, the diagonals, but that, the one that goes on top of the uh, the beams, all right. So that one was quite easy. So you just has to slightly move the beams 
when you install it you know so that the holes you know fit together so the holes of the uh what i'm saying by this is you just want to move that beam that way a little bit so that those bolts fits perfectly in the, in the holes all right all right so we got the roof all set here all right so before putting those uh bracing here we're gonna put the panels before because i'm a big guy so in order to fit here all right so one of the uh lesson learned so when you put the panels on the roof make sure you're two so one would lift you know i'm just gonna show it to you here so one underneath the gazebo could lift that part from inside and you just you know slide that one underneath lower it and the job is done so when you have to install these pieces right here i would what i saw so the best thing is to start with that one all right you don't have to fix it just you know put it put the bolt and then after this you'll be able to easily enter that one so after this you could tight that one and tight that one so this is the last step all right so the last step the roof with the, the parts on the sides on the, the diagonals so then again when you hear uh one of the best uh thing that i saw was to install that bolt here first align it then this one you're aligning it and then make sure you go back and tighten that one and you tighten that one all right so this is now you know so i appreciate you like it and if you do well you know give us a like and subscribe thank you <laughs>